it's obviously a good experience to come out and and play for your country and play against the best other seven countries uh, in in Europe. So for us, it was really good. Um, I think if you look at us as a team, I don't think there's as much pressure on us to go out and and having to win as maybe some of the bigger nations like England feel. So for us to get into the semi-finals um, was really good, but obviously wanted to get through. But as a whole, it was a good good experience. I'd agree with Lass. I mean, it's a great tournament to be involved in. You know, I was fortunate to finally get in the squad uh, quite late on, so I, you know, I joined up quite late with the boys. But you know, it was a great, it was a great tournament. And I think me and Lass were speaking the other day. You know, it's, even though we didn't get much of a break, it's been really good. You know, to still be involved at that high level of football and then come back now the preseason sort of really sharp still. I think there's probably so many reasons you could sit and say you know it didn't work out for us. Um, I mean in the qualifiers you know we were very very strong, didn't concede a lot of goals and I think we scored I think the most goals out of everyone that qualified. Um, you know and then obviously when we went into the tournament didn't really score a lot of goals and we conceded quite a few. Um, you know and you can't do that in tournament football and we found out the hard way. Um, I think that was the most disappointing thing out of everything, but you know, it was it's one of them things and you've got to take it and learn from it now. Out of all the team we could have played, I think we had a very good chance against Sweden and we got behind 2 0 um, early in the first half. And from then on, obviously, they're going to sit back and, and try to wait for us to make another mistake to counter. So you could always sit and say we should have, should have maybe got something out of that game. And but at the same time, if you let two goals in, giving yourself. Uh, mountain to climb and even though we got close at 2-1 and they were always looking dangerous on the counter so it's something we'll be very disappointed with for a long time I guess. I knew it was going to be tough because I knew I was going out there you know to not play maybe even be third choice, second choice so you know me and Bondi never sort of found out but I mean I knew that was going to be tough you know managing my time and you know I was trying to stay fit and sharp you know Jack's a great goalkeeper um, so you know I didn't really have any complaints um, you know while he was playing. Yeah, it was all about me just trying to sort of stay sharp and in my head I was thinking, you know, for two reasons. One, if I stay sharp, you know, I might get an opportunity and two, if not, then, you know, I've got to try and stay sharp because when we go home, you know, I wanted to be sharp when we come back here. So, you know, it was a it was a win-win situation for me, just obviously it wasn't, you know, it didn't go as well as planned as for everyone involved in England set up. You know, and I know, I know Corley didn't go, but, you know, he was still a massive part on the build-up. Um, and, you know, I know the boys missed him when we was out there, uh, but... You know, it says a lot about the group and a lot, a lot, a lot about the English players and what we've got coming, coming through. Just a shame that we couldn't sort of produce it in the three games that we had. It's very good for me just to, to get back and play football at a high level. Um, it's obviously a big, a big part of us qualifying um, for the tournament. So I was, I was hoping to play a lot and hoping to, to start every game really. But um, we got a really strong team, so. It was always going to be tough, especially coming back from from that injury. Um, only playing one full game, which was a week before the tournament. So, obviously knew that it was he, he might pick someone else to to start some other games, and I was just focusing on trying to get on. And and every time I played, I just tried to do my best. We spoke a little bit, didn't we? We was, yeah. we was moaning about <coughs> who was in camp longer. We was having a little discussion about that. <laughs> yeah. You know, we was hoping that we was going to play against each other in either the semis or the final. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, we spoke a little bit, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We spoke. Yeah. Would well, have been good to play against the final against each other, wouldn't it? Yeah, I, th- I thought we were gonna because we uh, we went through the day before them um, as number one, and I think Portugal were quite yeah, big favourites to go yeah. through. So I thought that we might play them. We was gonna go through. We was gonna go through second, and then played us. So we would have played in, in Prague, so they would have come to to where we were, and uh, yeah. Didn't go like that. Would have been nice, wouldn't it? Would have been nice. Could have got myself a little Denmark shirt. Yeah. Still went for one cheers, bastard. <laughs> Didn't hear that before now. <laughs> yeah, I think we both got um, close to two weeks after the tournament. Yeah, I think so. I think we've got about eight days. Um, <clears throat> and then I joined the boys later on in Portugal for the last few days. Um, it was sort of important for me to stay sharp on that. Um, and obviously met the boys out in Portugal of a game a couple of days later so it was it was good for me to meet them up yeah. up there ready to go aren't we yeah I feel really good I feel really good I think in my situation with missing a lot of the last part of the season it was really good for me to go away and, and get a little bit of football in all the summer because I could have been running and, and doing all that but 
normally I, I'm I'm quite good with getting into shape in preseason. So for me, it's just all about getting a lot of ball work and and getting a, a few games under my belt in in the summer. So that was really good for me. I feel really sharp now. But obviously, me and Lass have only been involved the last sort of five or six days. But you know, there's a real sort of positive mentality going around the place. And <clears throat> not saying that we didn't have it last year, but you know. I think from an outside point of view, I think you know people can see changes. You know, I think the players that have come in, um, they're very similar to the boys that are already here now. You know, working hard, and you know, I think we're all pulling in the same direction, and I think we all want the same thing this year. Um, and whether we're going to get it or not, we're going to give our best, and we're going to try our hardest. And you know, we we want to progress in terms of individuals and as a team. And you know, we have one goal, and we're all trying to stick to that one goal. And, and stay together and I think that's going to be very important this season. Yeah, I think it's been really good as well. I think coming in, what is it, maybe two weeks after the boys started and mm. just feel how quickly the new boys settled in and yeah. it seems like they've been here for, for so long and as Beth says, there's just a good atmosphere now. And not that it was bad last year, but there's a real togetherness now. That wasn't Everyone, really last season, was it? You know, not exactly the same, but... This year, I think I think everyone is kind of on the same page, and we're all working really hard to to get to where we want to be. I think every manager, sort of, when they come into a job, wants their own team and wants to build their way. And you know, obviously, Kit took over last season in sort of deep waters at times. You know, when he did take over, um, and I think you know, it was never really his his side or his his way of playing last season, or his way or his players even. So, um, so I think yeah, I think now, you know, he's had he's had the time to go away and sort of. Um, think about what he wants to do this season and that and you know he's he's come in with a sort of similar approach to last season but you know with a lot of better players and the players that he's brought in are real quality um, you know you can see that early doors and the good thing about this season there's going to be a lot of competition for places which there wasn't wasn't so maybe last season um, you know we've, we've not just got sort of one player one good player in one position we've got a couple of players now that can play that position so you know everyone's going to have to be on their toes um, yeah, and I think you know it's it's working it's working really good at the moment. You know, and we've got to just try and carry on that now and progress and see how the season goes. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to to playing the first team game for Fulham again. It's been a long time since I've done that, so for me it's going to be really nice to to run out again with with these boys as well and, and playing some football. Looking forward to. It. I think the boys are fit. I think there's I think Gary always done a great job of getting us nice and fit and stuff, and you know getting all our weights in and stuff. And you know now it's about getting some game time and. You know, trying to trying to tweak tweak the things that you can't really tweak in training. Um, you know, and the, and the, the games against Crawley and the games out there in Austria are going to be a good test for all of us.